welcome to At The Keyboard, brought to you by the Streaming Video Alliance. My name is John Porterfield, folks call me JP for short, and I will have the pleasure to be your host in these sessions where we can spend time seeing streaming technology solutions in action. Now, we like to think of it as one might call a chalk talk session. This is where we can take time to do the deep dive on a topic of media technology for broadcast streaming and a solution approach to better our workflow, or maybe it's the next wave of efforts or innovation that we see in the industry. Today, we have Thomas Edwards from Amazon Web Services, who will be walking us through their implementation of video transport with AWS services utilizing SRT, or otherwise known as the Secure Reliable Transport Protocol. So let's get started. Thomas. Great to have you with us today with us today in this inaugural session of At the Keyboard. Thank you for joining with us today to cover this discussion. Uh, maybe just take a moment to maybe give the, the viewers that are watching this video a quick background of what you do for Amazon Web Services. Hey, thanks a lot, JP, for having me here today. Again, my name is Thomas Edwards. I'm a principal solutions architect at Amazon Web Services in the media and entertainment vertical. I come from spending 20 years as a broadcast customer, first at PBS, then at Fox, and then at Disney. Terrific. Wow, that's quite an extensive background. So, well, it's a, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Um, now, we're going to talk about SRT. So, Thomas, what is SRT? What's kind of the background for those that may not be familiar with it or as familiar with that acronym? And maybe just dive into it just for a moment. Okay. The Secure Reliable Transport, or SRT, is an open source video transport protocol that optimizes video streaming performance to deliver low latency video across unreliable networks. SRT was originally developed by High Vision, but in 2017, the SRT Alliance was formed, dedicated to the continued development and adoption of the protocol by multiple vendors. In March of 2021, Amazon Web Services joined the SRT Alliance, and AWS has implemented SRT in AWS Elemental Media Connect. So, you know, 2020 was kind of a, a lot went down in that year, uh, last year over the past year for all of us, uh, especially with a lot of this transport protocols and with SRT. So maybe what is your demo going to maybe comprise of? Yeah, so today we'll be demonstrating how to set up an SRT flow into AWS Elemental Media Connect. And so the demo lasts more than just two minutes. We'll also transcode the video to a number of AVR profiles in AWS Elemental Media Live, and then package it up into HLS origination uh, in AWS Elemental Media Package so that you can actually see an output. We'll be doing this on the AWS Management Console web interface, but of course, AWS services can also be automated using CloudFormation templates, you could access it using the AWS command line interface, or CLI, or it could be programmed on the AWS Cloud Development Kit, or CDK. So let me talk a bit about AWS Elemental Media Connect. It's a service that makes it easy for broadcasters and other premium video providers to reliably ingest live video into the AWS Cloud and then distribute it to multiple destinations either inside or outside the AWS Cloud. Media Connect provides reliability, security, and visibility that broadcasters are used to with existing distribution methods, combined with flexibility and cost-effectiveness that internet-based transmission provides. So SRT protects against jitter, packet loss, and network bandwidth fluctuations, providing the viewers with the best quality video. It's a protocol with configurable latency, which allows for an optimization of latency versus reliability. SRT is a great protocol for video producers who have to send video over a lossy network. For example, live streaming from a concert venue sent or a convention center with limited internet connectivity. SRT can work over these lossy networks and still get a reliable, low latency stream out. SRT also provides end-to-end -end AES3 encryption to ensure that content is protected in its transit. So SRT is a protocol on top of UDP. So to describe the protocol is a full presentation in itself, but let me give you just a quick overview. The protocol is inherently content agnostic, which means you could use any codec in SRT. 
SRT uses automatic retransmission request, also known as ARQ, if drop packets need to be resent. And it could also use forward error correction, or FEC, to add coding to the media packets to recreate them if some of them are lost. I'll add that there are other reliable transport protocols that you can use with AWS Elemental Media Connect, such as the Reliable Internet Streaming Transport, or RIST, RTP with forward error correction, or the proprietary Zixi protocol. To initiate an SRT connection, there's a caller and a listener. The caller sends an initial handshake to the listener, and they then negotiate the capabilities. The caller can then become a media sender, and the listener can become a media receiver, and the stream starts to flow between them. Media Connect serves as an SRT listener. So for this demo, we'll be using the Open Broadcaster software, or also known as OBS, as an SRT caller. OBS is a free and open source cross-platform streaming program. So let's go to the console. First, we'll set up a Media Connect flow. So we'll create the flow. We'll give it a name, called OBS SRT. And you can tell which availability zone you want this flow to be created in. Uh, so for, for us, we'll just use any default. We don't really care. Uh, the source type can be a standard source if the content's just coming over the internet. It can be a VPC source if it's coming from within your AWS virtual private cloud. Or it could be an entitled source if the content comes from another AWS account. Today, we'll just be going with a standard source. We'll just give it a name. And importantly, the protocol for today will be SRT listener. As I added, it could be RIST, it could be RTP FEC, it could be Zixi, but we'll go with the SRT listener for this demo. The inbound port could be pretty much any port from 1024 to 65535, except for 2077 and 2088. So we'll go with port 20,000. And you want to have a whitelist CIDR block. Uh, this is a CIDR block which contains the IP addresses which the flow is allowed to come from. So for today, we'll go with this one. I'm going to say the source description and say OBS SRT. If you'd like to have a maximum bit rate specified, you can do it here. It's optional. Uh, if you're going to put this in, you probably want to have twice the expected bit rate just to make sure that you've got enough headroom. You can put in the minimum latency uh, in milliseconds that you want here. Uh, the default is 2,000 milliseconds or two seconds, and we'll just go with that for today. If you want to encrypt the SRT flow, you first have to store the encryption key in the AWS Secret Manager, and then you can complete this section down here where you give a ARN for the AWS Elemental Media Connect as a trusted entity, and then the ARN of the uh, secret in the AWS Secrets Manager. But again, for today, we'll just create the flow without, without any encryption. Okay, I'll go ahead and start the flow. Okay, now let's go over to Media Package. And we're going to create a new Media Package channel. Call it the OBS channel. The input type uh, Apple HLS. And if you want to add uh, ingress access logs or egress access logs, you can do it here. 
And if you want to create a CloudFront distribution using CloudFront CDN, you could click it here, but we, we won't create a CloudFront distribution for this channel. We'll just make it an origin. Okay, and now we're going to add a endpoint uh, to this media package channel. Let's give it an ID, we'll call this the OBS endpoint. If you wanna have a custom manifest name, you could put that here. You can also configure a start over window for a portion of live stream made available for on-demand viewing. Uh, if you want a time delay that specifies when the live content's available for playback, you could put that in here as well. And for packager setting, you can go with uh, Apple HLS or Dash ISO, Smooth or CMAF. We'll go for Apple HLS. If you'd like to specify the segment duration or the playlist window duration, you can do that here. And again, if you want encryption, you can put the encryption in here and we'll, we'll go with no encryption for today. Uh, you can restrict by IP address if you want to restrict the IP addresses and ranges that can access that stream. Or authorization, requiring CDN authorization for playback from this endpoint. And let's go ahead and save this. I'm going to go back to Media Connect for a second. We'll view the flows. So we'll go ahead and bring up OBS. And here it is. Let's go ahead and put on the settings. And we'll want to go to the stream. And now what we'll do is we'll go over here to the flow. And we will find the inbound IP address, which is right here. We'll copy that. We'll bring it back here. And we'll say this flow, the stream here is going to go to SRT colon slash slash the inbound IP address and the inbound IP port of uh, 20,000. Okay, and then we'll start streaming. And if all works well, we get a little green down here. We are now streaming into the, uh, into the Media Connect flow. Next, uh, we'll go ahead and go to Media Live. And we'll set up the transcoding from the OBS flow to uh, what's distributed via media package. Okay, so we're actually, I'll start by creating a media live input. And we'll call this the OBS input. And it's gonna be coming from Media Connect. And the standard input for a, uh, a flow coming from Media Connect is actually coming from uh, two, separate, uh, two separate flows for redundancy purposes. For today, we'll actually just use a single input. And we'll go ahead and click this OBS SRT flow that we created in Media Connect. So we need to make sure that Media Live has the proper permissions to access the Media Connect flow. So we're actually going to create a new role from a template here. And this will show all of the, uh, the, the, IAM, the IAM role policies, which uh, this IAM role needs in order to access Media Connect. So we'll create that IAM role. There it is. And now let's go ahead and create the input. OK, and now we've got the OBS input uh, created. We'll go ahead and create a, a channel here in Elemental Media Live. So let's create a channel. And 
and we'll call it uh, OBS channel. We'll use that role that we just created. In the channel template, we'll go for HTTP live streaming with media package, since it'll be going to media package. The channel class is going to be single pipeline, again, instead of standard, since we only have a single uh, flow coming in as an input. Now let's uh, go add that input that we created, OBS input, and we'll confirm. Great. Now let's go to the media package group. Um, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of web VTT since we're not going to have any uh, closed captions. And here's our media package channel ID. There we go. And we'll call this the OBS group. And I think we're good there. Go back to channel input and details. And let's go ahead and create the channel. We'll go ahead and start the Media Live channel. Okay, so now let's go back to media package. So ordinarily media package, it would be used as an origination, uh, which would go to either a CDN or it'd go directly to a streaming player. So we'll go there. go to the channel. And that could be any streaming player, right, Thomas? Uh, essentially, right, if you were setting it out? Yeah, I mean, we're set, We're doing a, Apple HLS right now as the package type. Yes, any HLS player should be able to play this. Here's the URL uh, with the index.m3u8 at the end of it. Uh, you can even get a QR code if you want. Wow. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, click on it. There's your QR code. You can just nice. click this onto your onto your phone. But for today, we'll go ahead and use the preview. Now I'll say the preview player here is not a full featured player, but it'll show you that something's happening. And there we go. There we go. Awesome. That's what we're sending from OBS. Very nice. Well, thank you everyone for joining with us today in our session. It was great to have Thomas walk us through his demo on implementing SRT with AWS Media Services. If you found today's session helpful, we would like to hear your thoughts. Please share your feedback and your comments with us. Your input will help us in our efforts in producing these sessions in the future and our focus to provide topics that benefit you. Again, thank you, and we look forward to seeing you in the next session.